is not about this is this is this is about God visiting his people. He said, gather my sins together who have made covenant with me by sacrifice. Look beyond man. Look beyond yourself. Look beyond your knowledge. Look at Jesus. In this meeting, it's looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. As long as you look to Jesus, you will, you will overcome. And God will give you victory. Is there somebody in the house tonight who is ready to be a vessel of honor? Is there somebody in the house who is ready to touch the spirit of the counsel of God? Is there somebody in the house who is battling with a stumbling stone? Is there somebody in the house who truly wants to avoid this stumbling stone? There is grace in the house. God will take us in. If he brought us out, he will take us in. God have mercy on us. May it please you to find in us materials that you can use may you touch our hearts and make our hearts willing he said in the day of my power my people shall be willing one translation says in the day of my power my people will volunteer are you going to volunteer today are you going to say lord here am i have your way use me it's not about me it's not about whatever it's all about jesus Nobody is trying to define anything. Nobody is trying to be anything. It's all about Jesus. Jesus, have your way in my life. Bring me into your counsel. Do a deep work in me. Take away every weight that does so easily beset me. Bring me out of this stumbling situation so that I can overcome and sit with you. The Bible says, blessed are they that overcome. They will sit with him on the throne. Praise the name of the Lord. There's a difference between being in the throne room than sitting on the throne. But some people will sit with him on the throne. Some people will enter the room and be in the throne room, but they won't be sitting with him on the throne. But I want to be in the class of those who will sit with him on the throne. I want to be one with him. Hallelujah. The bridegroom is coming. The five foolish virgins went out. They are virgins. They are Christians. There are virgins and there are virgins. Not all children are children. But I want to be part of the real children. The ones who went in with the bridegroom at midnight. And became one with that bridegroom. There is grace for us. Whatever made the five virgins make it. That thing will be available to us tonight. That grace will be available to us. Whatever it was that God did, whatever it was those five virgins had, they had oil in their vessel. God, give us grace to have oil in our vessel. Give us grace to have the disposition of these five virgins. Whatever they had, give it to us in this last day. Let's up standing. Let's stand on our feet. I think I've said enough tonight. And it's late already. Let's talk to God, brothers and sisters. Let's talk to God and ask him for help. I don't know what you have touched tonight. I don't know what you have had. But there is grace in the house. There is help in the house. There is mercy in the house. There is favor in the house. I said the Lord will reveal the riches of his glory unto vessels of honor. Are you a vessel of honor? Unto vessels of mercy. God will reveal himself, the riches of his glory. I want you to just talk to God as we wrap up this session and continue tomorrow. We are in for a very powerful time. This is just the beginning. I don't know what God is going to do, but I know he will do great things. Uh, I know that he's taking us somewhere. I don't know where, but we will get there. These meetings will get to a crescendo. The glory of God will come down like never before. Our lives will never, ever remain the same. After this meeting, just open your hearts and just receive grace and receive help from the Lord. I say, God, I know there is a stone of stumbling but I will not stumble.
by the grace of God, I will not stumble. You will give me the grace. You will anoint my eyes, I will see. You will help me to negotiate this bend so that I do not stumble. He said, for it is written, a stone of offense, a stone, a rock of stumbling is laid in Zion. God did that by design. But we will overcome. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
yielded unto you, Almighty Father. Yielded unto you, Almighty God, that you may have your way. We come with trepidations. We come with awe. Humbled in thy presence, O Lord, that you may find us worthy, a vessel of honor in thy hand. Lord, as we yield ourselves unto you, cause there to be an emptying that you may fill us. Fill us to an overflowing that we may become that for which we are created to be. Is that I was born to be that dwelling place. I was born to be unto you, O Lord, a sanctuary, a vessel of honor, unto whom you might look and you might find the light. O Father, as we come, sitting at thy feet again this day, come, Holy Spirit, meet with us, brew upon us, Break us, mold us, transform and change us that we may become that which we are created to be. We extol you, Father. We bless your name. Because it is always in your heart to have a desire for a people that will seek your face. As we seek you, O oh Lord, even in this day that is referred to as being perilous, may we find you. And as we find you, may we find the light to walk with you, to run with you, to find rest unto our souls. In the name of Jesus, we bless and worship you. We are grateful, Lord, for what you have done. We are grateful for what you are doing. We are grateful for what you will do. For we know there is a purpose where you have caused us to gather. And as we gather, may your spirit work within us. May we find a refreshing that make a people to become joyful. We bless and worship you. Be thou exalted as we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are welcome. Please, you may have your seat. So just take the announcement. Once again, let me welcome you to Eloni. We are grateful as usual to our Father who is in heaven, who is always there to keep his part of the covenant. Grateful for all journeys that have been safe and secured. Grateful because we have this assurance that our brethren that will be joining us, they will all come here safely. Nothing untoward will happen. Because our, God, our Lord reigns. So we welcome you to Ilone and welcome you to Quara State. This state is referred to as a state of harmony. So we desire of you harmony of spirit. Let our spirit be one with the Lord. And as you find that expression, there will be a lot of joy in the Who are you? Who are you? The Lord keep you in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, we urge, plead, that everyone here should be registered. And at every material time, you should wear your tag. If you are not wearing your tag, you could be walked out. Uh, we are not going to be careless. So we want to be as vigilant as possible. We want 